Hello and welcome to this tutorial video. In the next five minutes or so, I'm going to show you how you can take your Google Street View photospheres from Google Maps and add them to your own 360 degree projects. Whether you're using a product like CoSpaces EDU or Situ 360 or Frame VR, all of these products will take this Google Street View photosphere that we're about to download. Of course, our starting point is going to be Google Maps. We're all familiar with Google Maps, so I'm just going to find a location that's important to one of my projects right now. I'm doing a project about animals at Taronga Western Plains Zoo. All right, I found the entry to Taronga Western Plains Zoo on Google Maps, and my next step is to grab the little orange icon in the bottom right hand corner that will show me the Street View version of the zoo. So as soon as you pick him up, you'll notice all the lines appear where the Street View camera has been. And that's where I can find the first person view of this location. Now think, you could do this with any location around the world. The next time that your students are doing a project about the Great Pyramids of Giza or Antarctica, why not use Google Street View? All right, so I'm gonna drop the little man um, just on top of one of those lines and I'm straight away taken into Street View. Now remember, we can download this photosphere and add it to our own project. Let's have a look to see if I'm happy with this location because there are so many locations. I could kind of travel around like normal Street View uh, and find the perfect photosphere. I want to just get a bit closer to um, the canteen area and maybe even see the sign here. There we go. So I've settled on the photosphere or the location in Google Street View that I want to save. So I'm going to download it now. But to do that, I need to make sure I've got a little app installed on my computer. Um, you need to download this app. Now, I have been told that you do not require admin permission to install this app on your computer. Um, so teachers in the New South Wales Department of Education, you can feel free to head to this website and install this on your laptop, first of all, to try it out, give it a go. Um, so head to the website svd360.istreetview.com. You can see it's only available for Windows 10 and for Mac OS. So this is not something you're going to do on a Chromebook and this is not something you're going to do on an iPad. When you launch the app, the first thing you need to do is choose a save location uh, and the name of the first panorama. Um, so click the little folder icon. You can see I've already done a bunch. I created a photo, like a, a folder. All right, I've named my upcoming download um, Taronga Welcome and I've already chosen the folder. So once you've done that, go ahead and save that setting. That's all that is, right? It's a setting. You haven't saved anything yet. In order to download the photosphere that you've chosen, you need to copy the link or the address of that photosphere, the whole thing, all right? So left click, control C to copy, and then head over to the app. And then paste it, control V to paste it. We can then go ahead and hit the download panorama button. So here I am, I've jumped over into CoSpaces EDU. Um, you can see I've got a number of projects there. The Taronga Zoo project is the one here at the start. So I'm now gonna click into that project to edit it. Um, there are other tutorial videos about specifically about CoSpaces. So today, all I'm doing is going to show you how to add my Google Street View photograph. So I'm going to go to uh, the scenes menu on the left hand side because uh, we're adding a new scene essentially when we add that new photosphere. So a new scene and it is a 360 environment. So it's an empty 360 scene. And now I'm going to click on the environments tab along the bottom and, and click on edit. And I'm going to go to the place where I saved my panorama. Photos from Google Earth. And there it is, Taronga welcome screen. Good spelling there, Lawrence. All right, it's taken a few minutes for um, my street view photo. 
to upload into um, CoSpaces. And of course, that's going to depend upon your internet speed. As always, if you have any questions about projects and equipment from the STEM T4L team, please feel free to join the Facebook group. Just search stem.t4l or the department's Yammer community. We're always there, happy to answer your questions.